Hello and welcome to building my first AFL fantasy team for 2023. And it's from Fantasy Take TV here. So yeah, very excited. When uh, when fantasy opens or when Supercoach opens, look at all the prices and whatnot, make a team. Very exciting, exciting part of, part of the year. So um, yeah, really keen to make a team. I've had a look at the prices in the, um, there was an Excel spreadsheet picker that came out around Christmas, I reckon. So I had a look at that. So I do have some idea of the prices Few differences for super coach, you know, I think like Jacob Hopper is much more expensive in this format than he would be in super coach. Nat Fife as well. Uh, I think Oscar Baker's 500k, but he's a rookie priced in super coach. So, a few things there. So, see how we go. But yeah, we'll start picking a team, I guess. Get straight into it. So, looking at the defense, Sam Doherty, so expensive. I don't think there's enough upside to justify picking him, but he does play early a lot, and he might play. He might cover for Walsh in the midfield, where he scored unbelievably well early. So I will keep tabs on him. Kind of want to pick him, but I feel like it's too much. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll chuck him in for now. I just said he's too expensive, and we'll chuck him in. And then throw in Dawson as well. So a little bit too expensive here, I think. Um. But I think that's just, I think there's a tad of, there could be a little bit upside in both, but you'd probably get either of them cheaper at some point. He plays GWS first up and they like to tag, but don't know the new coach. Um, So looking at these other ones, yeah, don't know what's going on with Sinclair, new coach. Brayshaw gets moved around a bit, not his biggest fan. Sicily, I think will be thereabouts, but probably full price. Don't know the biggest fan of Stuart, ended the year pretty poorly. Should be right though. Isaac coming with no Himmelberg. Uh, I think that might be a, an interesting one. Whereas in Himmelberg's gone up forward. So I'll, I think I'll throw coming in for now. I feel like we've already spent way too much here. Um, hmm. Yeah, we've spent way too much. We'll, we'll leave it for now. Dale. So maybe Daniel's... I don't mind Dacos, but uh, Caleb Daniel might be moving into the uh, into the midfield, so he could be an option. Just monitor how he goes, but there's one here I do like, and that is it's speculative, but 650k Ed Richards. So as the year progressed, well, the last third of the year, his scoring went up a lot. I'm not sure what he averaged in. He might be better for super coach, so I don't know if he's overly suited for this format. But his kick-ins might go up if Daniel goes up the ground. And yeah, he gained a bit of confidence, a bit more. His rebounds went up, so he started rebounding a bit more later in the season. I don't mind him. Um, from memory, there's nothing here that I like. Zach Williams, a bit too injury-prone for me. Rose will play midfield, 600k. I think that's too expensive for someone speculative, but worth watching in the preseason, I think. Um... So Will Day, he might play in the midfield, but nothing here really appeals. Trying to get your key defenders and really young players here, so you, lots of trash. Ambrosio might be playing down back this year, monitor that, but there's so many players that can take kick-ins down at um down at Essendon, so I'm not too sure. You get all your crews, your Jones, Parnell, Hamill, like just don't accumulate enough. But have nice halfback rolls. I we'll monitor Caulfield. I think he's done a hamstring, but I think he can do better than that. And then throw in Jaden Hunt. So just purely on new club should get a halfback roll. You know, they'll drop him with it, and maybe he takes he takes his spot. But West Coast like to chip it around in the back half. So chuck Hunt in for now. But never been a massive scorer. But I think he's done seventy in the past. And Connor McKenna doesn't have a picture, but I think he's a lock. And then we'll throw in two rookies. So I think the two that are most likely to play, I think Dean. And we'll go Wilmot. Wilmot, not too sure with McKenna, but we should get at least one of them. So that's, we'll go with that for the defense. I feel like we've spent way too much here. 
It just depends what sort of cheapies we can we get and if we can put them on the field. But I do like um, last year. I thought stabilizing the defense. I think Hewitt or Sicily at D five. I had to get get one of them to D six pretty quick because I think Bowie was okay early, but your D six was a massive issue last year. So at least I got a bit of depth here. We'll go with that for now. Um, now midfield. Laird, I think <laughs> I've already spent enough. I don't think I can go Laird, but if I do, would have to get rid of Doherty or something. But I just feel, yeah, a bit too expensive. Generally, the M1 always falls most of the time. Brayshaw plays St. Kilda. Maybe he cops Win Hager around one. Probably leave that, but I think he can do well this year. Oliver, don't mind Oliver. 1 1 2. Yeah, I think I want to get him in as soon as possible. Mills gets thrown around still. Not too sure. In limited training at the moment. Otherwise, I'd probably pick him. Has the injury game. I think we'll throw him in for now. Reasonably good captain option, I think. I like Merritt. Oh, he might get Finn McGuinness round one. Don't know about Jack McRae. Just for the fun, we'll go Bontempelli. I don't think we're going to be able to afford this. We'll get rid of um, get rid of Merritt for now. So I think Bont scores better without without Dunkley, and so will McRae. So we'll keep those two in for now. Uh, I'm not sure I've done the right thing here because Bond is definitely better for Supercoach, like much much better for Supercoach than he is for Fantasy. So. Uh, but yeah, just no Dunkley. We'll see how he goes. I'm not sure Bont is the answer here, but we'll leave him in. The other one, I think, is probably Tom Mitchell, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't know if I trust either of these guys with captains. Still sort of, but... Yeah, I don't know. Had a few down games last year that he didn't have the year before. So we'll roll with that for now, and we've got to find some value here. So... Whitfield, uh, I couldn't go back. Been there, done that. Perryman might be okay. Sam Berry, I think, will improve this year, but not sure there's enough. I suppose you want him to be what make from that point. Probably don't want to trade him anytime soon, so. Don't know. I'm on to him because his CBA should be really, really high, so that'd be good. Nothing really here. Danger and Dusty, roughly same price, but I don't think you can go back to them ever again. Quadwell was only 650. I thought it'd be more than that. What are you average? Only 73 last year. That's pretty poor. Fiorini, just dead pick, unfortunately. Satterfield, maybe a bit underpriced, but how does he fit into that team? Maybe they throw Ash at half back. He can score okay there. I think I missed Sheed. We'll throw Sheed in for now. I think he can. Uh, I don't know what he's priced at. We'll check his CBAs because I know in um in 2022 he had one game with 88% CBAs, but that was the only game he played and. I think his CBAs in another year were like in the 50s or something. So maybe he gets a big spike there. I don't know, but we'll watch that. Warple. I don't know about Warple. Seems hard to trust. I don't know if he's any good or not anymore. But no Tom Mitchell might help him. Skip him for now because I don't know. It's been just a... Low average player for a while now. Cooper Stevens is interesting. He might get a bit more opportunity. I think we've got to fill this out, so we'll throw in Cooper Stevens. I think he's more for a super coach, but 390k, I think he can definitely outdo that with opportunity. And if he's, I don't know if he's any good or not, though. His highlights look all right, but they're highlights, so I'm not too sure. Uh, Ashcroft will throw in. Don't know how to fill this out. Uh. 
Oh, Will Phillips will take that for sure. I don't know, Josh Sin. He looked good in the preseason last year, but he didn't really... I had so many injury issues. So we'll see how he goes. Hopefully we can field a rookie here. That would be great. I don't know. Throw in Zach Taylor. I think he'll get games at some point. Don't know about round one. And then... Uh, Joe Richards, I guess. Blakely's there. Go Joe Richards. Apparently he's recruited from like the country league like, and then got one like three best and fairest in a row or something like that. And so we'll leave him for now. All right, Rux, what do we do here? So I do remember looking at this and the only cheap one I liked was Meek 470. I think he can beat that. Okay, so he's... Average score was 60, but in um in Supercoach, it was like 80. So he must be much better for Supercoach than Fantasy, but did split with Darcy a few times, but might also split with, what's his name? Reeves. So for here, I think it's hard to justify Gorn or Grundy at this stage. I just let that one play out, I think. But yeah, English should have the main job. He'll get a lot more ruck minutes than Gorn or Grundy. And he's probably coming into his prime. And then Ron Marshall, I think. EC1. If Campbell is named round one, we'll need to have a plan B. I don't know what that is. It could be Rob, but I'm not too keen on Rob. Maybe we'll go all the way down to Meek. I don't know. Um, but yeah, pretty bullish on Marshall if he's all going good round one. And then we just need a rock forward loophole. Woods, I guess. All right, now we need to pick some forwards. So there's three forwards that I don't see moving from the team. How much we got? 4.21 mil. Dunkley, Taranto, Rosie. We've got 1.6 mil. So we're running out of money already. So I think um, we'll lock those guys in. And then I, I do like Cogs. I just don't know. feels like he's hard to trust. But I like him as an upgrade target. He should outdo the price based on what he did last year. He had that forward time early, but something most years something sort of happens to him, so I think we'll just let that one go. Uh, probably gonna need to find a bit of money here. I'm not the biggest fan of Cameron, so I'm gonna skip that. I just don't know what happens. The balance with Cox is next year. If Cox even plays, maybe they'll bring him in and out of the team or something. We can't afford anyone here, but I think it's worth looking. Don't see anything that appeals here. I know Toby McLean's coming up. Juan Francis 550. Wonder what he can do. I think he's coming off surgery though. Uh, ben Long's moved to defense. So I think in the, his last game he played in defense in 2021. 2022 rather, he had like 17 marks, 27 touches. So I think he's worth watching, keeping an eye on. He's moving to defense. Landers, I think it should be good. We'll chuck him in for now. Um, where's old mate Wayne Miller? Miller is playing defense again. Maybe I missed him. Keep scrolling. How much we got? 1.1. Yeah, we're not gonna. Maybe we'll get rid of. Get rid of Steel. We'll get rid of Bon, I reckon. We'll find a solution. Um, I think we'll put McLean in the midfield for now. Just fill that spot. So we'll chuck him in the midfield. And then... How much is Miller? Oh, 440. He's playing halfback. I'm not I'm not Miller's biggest fan. And his durability is atrocious. But he's going to get a halfback role. He's training there this year. So we'll chuck him in for now. But my God, is he frustrating as a crow supporter. He can score off halfback with the role. He just needs to be fit. Go well, but... 
yeah, he is every chance he gets pulled out of that spot at some point, but we'll just chuck him there for now. So we got 1.16 mil. I didn't think I spoke about Flanders, but yeah, 117 average in the VFL or something silly. So I had a game where he, got, where he had 46 touches, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't know, I might not have enough midfielders here, but I'm trying to fill out the team where I have everyone has a good role on the field. Maybe not M8 at the moment, but we'll try and sort that one out. I'm not sure if I've missed anyone here. Fantasia, 400. Yeah. Too much. But apparently he's fit. Had a read an article on him today. I don't know who to pick here. Don't don't love these draftees. Um the guy's name is Bins, so that's pretty funny. Oh god, Luke Pedler. Oh boy. Very injury prone, but apparently he's fully fit at the moment, so he can stay in for now. And then we'll just fill it with rookies. So I know Van Ruin will play. Van Ruin. And then we just got to pick rookies now. And then Kovas might play at some point. Don't know. I liked Arthur Jones in the preseason last year, but I'm not sure this is a spot for him. Uh, I think we're wasting our time here. Let's just pick somebody. Uh, I don't know. Sam Sturt. Injury prone as hell. Lowry. We'll go big Tex Wanganin. How much money do we have? Oh, we have heaps of money. Um, let's do, we can pick anyone, I think. Let's get rid of Tex. We'll chuck in Ben Long. Just because he's playing half, might play halfback. There was, I did read an article the other day that said that he wants to play halfback. So basically making sure everyone has a good role here. So everyone in defense should have a good role. Everyone in the midfield should have a good role, except maybe Sin. Hopefully if someone pops up. They have a good role. These guys are midfielders. Flanders, I hope, is a midfielder. Just needs to earn his spot. And then Ben Long and Wayne Miller are, should get half back roles. Nice role change for them. Uh, not too sure. Need to watch him in the preseason. But that's the team for now. I don't know if I'm happy with it or not. Got McLean as well. I um, in the in the midfield. I don't know if maybe two midfielders is not enough. Because I think last year our cash gen was so good. Maybe we take that for granted and it'll be really difficult to bring players in. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what players you're keen on and whatnot. And we'll see you guys next time.